Hi, this is a, a video on how to wedge. Uh, first, you're going to cut the amount of clay you want. Uh, if you want to be precise and you're on the wheel, you would need to weigh it. Kind of make sure it's plastic. Okay. Kind of get it into a little bit rounder shape. Put one foot in front of the other so you have uh, a little bit of uh, movement. And you're going to press with the heel of your hand. It's called the spiral method. Press with the heel. Turn, press and turn, press and turn, and kind of twist when you do that turn. And you're going to do this at least 20 times. What you're doing, you're lining the particles of the clay. Uh, you're making it so much easier to work with, it's smoother. Um, things just go right when you wedge. So, Remember, at least 20 times pressing, twisting back, pressing with the heel. It's kind of a rocking motion. And as you get going and you're kind of, you'll see that. Now, some people also use a different method where they do the size, but uh, I found that this one is for the neatest and it's been the most effective, uh, irregardless if I'm hand building or um, on the wheel. It seems to work best for my students. So. You'll have kind of a kind of a, a spiral look, and it's almost perfect right now uh, to use on the wheel or to roll out. I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to yeah, looks great. Slap it back together so you don't get any um, trapped air in there, and then you can put it into the bag or your bucket, save it for later for the wheel. And if, of course, if you're using the wheel, I would have weighed it out. But, and if you're going to do a slab project or a pinch project, uh, you can take as much as you need, or you can slap it out and roll it by hand or on a slab. Okay. Good luck.